dead in his Nairobi home with 21 stab wounds was laid to rest at his home in Kisi County today with relatives claiming there was more to his killing than what is already known. During his burial, Maego's relatives said the brilliant son could have been killed due to what they called work-related issues. Those who spoke during his burial said the disease had expressed fear for his life after he was appointed as the acting finance manager of Nairobi Hospital in July this year. And as O'Day Francis now reports, the family is unhappy of our attempts to tarnish the reputation of Maigo by depicting him as a womanizer. Eric Maigo was stabbed to death in his bedroom. He had confided to his relatives that he feared for his life after he was promoted to the acting finance manager of the Nairobi hospital. His family is angry that their son was murdered and a campaign initiated to cover up the murder. I did not know it would come this the least. Maigo, who was buried on Friday, was eulogized as a smart, faithful and funny person who loved music and data science. Chris Bichage, a former MP for Nyaribari Chache, and deceased uncle told mourners that Maigo had called him to express anxiety after his appointment to the senior position in the hospital. He talked to me and they told me that place is extremely toxic. The young man has a good job at Britain. Do you really want to go to the mess of Nairobi also? I'm one of the people who made the mistake and convinced him. Since he has wanted competitively, allow him to come. I didn't know that it will come to this. Maigo was buried at Eremo village in Nyaribari, Masaba, Kisi County, with his family expressing hope of justice for their slain son. We are convinced that he was a kind soul, very, very good person. We don't know whether it is, it is his goodness which killed him, but we suspect it is. Maigo graduated from the University of Nairobi in 2013 with an undergraduate degree in commerce. He later obtained a Master's of Science degree in finance from the University of Nairobi. At the time of his death, he was pursuing a Master's of Science in Data Science Analytics at Strathmore University. He had a premonition and unfortunately it eventually happened. I'm so sorry. I know how painful you are. Thank you so much. According to the family, Maigo did not have a family of his own, but he touched many lives with his deeds and that they would always be his family. To communicate with the IG, Inspector General. Then Inspector General, in the past case, Tara in past case, to get the culprits who did these mistakes to the, 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 the young ones. This, this man is very young, very young, but to kill somebody like this, Langage. Maigo's body was discovered on September 15, 2023, in a pool of blood in his bedroom with 25 stab wounds. Two kitchen knives were recovered from the scene as evidence. A 16-year-old suspect was arraigned before Magistrate Zainab Abdul at the Milimani Law Court on Wednesday on miscellaneous application indicating that police needed to conduct mental and age assessment on the suspect as required before one faces murder charges. Ode Francis, KT News, Nairobi. So now to the corridors of justice where the court